Stephen Colbert knows all about politics. He is a host, writer, and executive producer of The Late Show. Last night, Colbert said goodbye to another White House hopeful who dropped out of the race. Also tossed on the funeral pyre of politics this week was Democratic candidate Martin O'Malley. Or as you may know him, do I know him? <laughs> It seems that the high fructose voters of Iowa could not relate to a man in his 50s with abs like that. <laughs> He'll now return to his natural habitat, playing sleeveless guitar in a Viagra commercial. <laughs> Colbert hosted his uh, Emmy-winning show, The Colbert Report, for nearly a decade. <laughs> Before that, he was a correspondent on The Daily Show. Now he is days away from hosting a special live edition of The Late Show after the Super Bowl. Stephen, good morning. Good Welcome morning, to Studio 57. Yes. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. It's Politics is the keeps on giving and giving and giving for late night comedians. Mm -hmm. Well, especially presidential politics, because mm -hmm. well, the nice thing is, is that people, you can feel the wave of public interest in what's going on in the election right now. Sort of like the story is catching fire. And the nice thing about presidential years is everybody in the country cares about the story, everybody pays attention. You don't have to explain your joke to anybody. You can just go to the punchline. And it's a great story because it, it affects everybody and there's no tragedy. And there's Nobody surprises. Dies. And you've got people like Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders. No, you don't have people like Donald Trump. There are no people like Donald Trump. There is only Donald Trump. The greatest lie Donald Trump ever told is he was happy being second in Iowa. Yeah. Now I don't believe him. Up till now, everything, everything in retrospect seems true compared to the, the enormity of that lie. I don't know lie. if you saw it. Like 7.14 a.m. yesterday, he said he was going to be more statesmanlike. You know, yes. in, and then 90, mm -hmm. 90 minutes later, he was on his, uh, what's, what uh, Ted mm -hmm. Cruz is calling his Twitter tantrum. Yes, well, it's statesmanlike for Trump. He says he's only going to bomb the tantrum. poop out yeah. of him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> cleaning up his ass. Trump or tantrum, right? That's mm -hmm. right. Now, does he remind you anything of the man from the Colbert Report? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Donald Trump feels like my old character who, the, the, old, the old idea behind the Colbert Report was truthiness, which is if you just say it with enough conviction yes. and, and emotion, yes. it's truer than if it's factually correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's really great. That's great politics because an audience just wants to be emotionally moved and Trump is great at moving an audience. Plus, he's got $10 billion to back it up. Yeah. You know, the whole thing about Citizens United is that money equals speech. Well, he's got a $10 Billion dollar mouth, or so he says. Well, <laughs> I know, but I, I believe him. I believe him. But I think Charlie's right. It is a gift that keeps on giving for you. So I'm very curious about what you're going to do live after the Super Bowl. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is live right now, right? We're live right so now. Live. So but like this, preview. like this, preview. but about football. Yeah. Yeah. And there is no eight second delay and, this and morning. There's no eight second delay this no. morning. No. Wow. Does that ever get you in trouble? Because they've, got, I think, I think it's at least just eight, with, eight seconds. Just with Gail a couple we times. love but, trouble. See, we well, love trouble. Well, we but, have but uh, Stephen, Tina Fey. Hey, Margot yeah, Robbie, uh, we've got Will Ferrell, great we've got Key and Peel. We'll have surprise guests. Great we'll guests. Have, uh, we'll have our review. We'll have jokes that we've written during the Super Bowl about the Super you got Bowl. Megan Megan Kelly, Kelly. Too. Megan Kelly, Megan Kelly, that just have Yeah, I'm very excited. I think the that's The only cool. person on the planet who scares Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> but it's our guys, Trump repellent. But, yeah. but you guys are going to be writing. That's good. You guys are going to be Thank writing you. jokes during the show. Mm -hmm. During the Super Bowl. During gonna, the Super Bowl. You're going to be writing Bowl. jokes. We'll be writing jokes about the game. How is that going to work, though, Stephen? How are you going to do Very fast, that? I hope. <laughs> Very fast. Because the, but the, how the do game you ends and 20 minutes later, we do yeah. the show. So we've got 20 minutes. We've got 20 minutes to write an hour show, Gail. Can't it be done? Mm -hmm. They said I, it couldn't I, be done. I believe in you and your team. Yeah. Thank but you, Gail. But you already tried doing that, right? Didn't you already try doing it? We try, we've we've tried doing it during one game. It seems to be possible to do. How much of uh, it I'm going to say great. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. say it worked great. I believe you. Yeah. Yep. Can you give us a little preview? I mean, how much of it will be related to the game? A lot of it will be related, related to, to the, the game. game. Yeah. 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 I mean, depending on what people want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. You once said that the most important thing you'd learned from show business was being to love the bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a teacher uh, in Chicago who said, you've got to learn to love the bomb. Right. Meaning not sort of, if, you, if the show doesn't go well, like if, really it's improvisation. If you're improvising and it doesn't go well, You've got to not just sort of get through the fact that it didn't go well. You've got to, got to enjoy mm -hmm. that it sucked. Yeah. Yeah. And then once you can enjoy that it sucked, then nothing can kill you. That's great. I'm hoping not to learn that again on Sunday Night Live. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. I think our problem is they've got too much show already. Like, even without, like, our jokes about the Super Bowl were, like, yeah. six minutes long at yes. this point. And 
We essentially do a morning show because after midnight, it's technically the next morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we have true. some of your Monday morning show in case we go a little long? <laughs> Indeed, Absolutely. Just Absolutely. Six, just no. yes. All right. But, but are great. you a big Super Bowl guy? Are you a, are really, you kidding? Look a at closet me. geek? Yeah. South are you Carolina saying I didn't man. play no, ball? No. no, are you a closet athlete and we don't know about it? Is Super Bowl normally a big day for you? Uh, I enjoy food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I enjoy fried things. Okay, me too. I enjoy dips. Me too. But did yeah. you play football in South Carolina? I played one day of football what in happened? South Carolina. Uh, well, my friends were on the one football day. team in my senior year of high school. They said, hey, man, you're funny. Why don't you come out for the team? You'll be fun, like, on the road trips. Yeah. And so, I didn't re well, I didn't realize just how hard they hit. And one of my friends was had the weightlifting record in school, and he had it in eighth grade. And our senior year, the coach said to him, first day, first scrimmage he looks at me and he took some points at my friend points at me and goes you see that cornerback over there I want you to kill him <laughs> there are no friends on the football field <laughs> so we lined up against each other my friend Bramlett goes I'm sorry man I, had to, I have to kill you <laughs> and he picked me up crunched me on the ground at the end of the day I said coach I don't think it's my game and he goes, yeah, he said, I don't think I'm it is Colbert. I'm going for comedy <laughs> thank, thank, thank you so much exactly I'm then I fo focused on theater from then on we have pictures of you from yeah, your indeed. theater yes, days do. Stephen do you Colbert. really yes. do I have a beard oh, you're gonna boy. thank me hey. yeah. 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 who is that guy <laughs> now, there I am describe that Stephen Colbert that Stephen Colbert was very serious he had not started doing comedy yet he was he had a beard uh, that's when we were swimmers at the top of that. Yeah. Dave Swimmers up David there. Schwimmer, right? yeah. Yeah. In the uh, middle, yeah. He had a beard. He wore a lot of black. Mm -hmm. uh, I describe him as a poet slash jerk. <laughs> he was willing to like share his when misery with other people. When did you lose the beard? Um, right, after, right after that, right yeah. when I graduated, right when I needed to get a job. I lost the beard. This was in the 80s. Beards were not as popular then. And as you could tell, I can only grow half of one. But My what was your life goal back then, Stephen Colbert? You and David Schwimmer, I think that's great that there's a picture of the two of you. Yeah. What was your life goal? I thought I was going to, like, uh, form a theater company, you know, do free Shakespeare on the street, yeah. uh, live in a studio, like, never get married, never have kids. Now I just love, I'm like a suburban dad, Ooh, yeah. you know. You love your wife. I love my wife, I've <laughs> yeah. got three kids. I have, which pair of khakis will I wear today? <laughs> yeah. No, I thought I was going to be like an artist, essentially, like, you know, half yeah. street, you know, half street, you know, artist, half theater person. But did so, you, like so many young comedians, look at Johnny Carson and say, that's where I'd love to be one day? Mm -hmm. Well, no, and actually, this is a really happy surprise that I ended up with this gig, but I will say that I'm the youngest of 11 children. Yes. Jimmy, Eddie, Mary, Billy, Margaret, Tommy, J. Lulu, Paul, Peter, Stephen. Mm -hmm. And my elder sister... Say that again. Jimmy, Eddie, Mary, Billy, Margaret, Tommy, J. Lulu, Paul, Peter, Stephen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, my <laughs> elder sisters, Mary and Margot, used to wake me up to make me watch Johnny Carson because they didn't want to watch it alone. Mm -hmm. So as a little, as a little, I mean, like a three, four-year-old, they'd wake me up to watch Johnny Carson. And I love Johnny. I love Dave, but... Um, that was so Olympian. How could you ever aspire See, that's exactly to do that? What Dave says too. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no way Johnny, especially Johnny's. Mm -hmm. Dave was great because Dave was different than Johnny because Dave was dumb. Like Dave was like human size. <laughs> you know? yeah, we all wanted to throw things off the buildings. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so Stephen, I, I have to get back to the Super Bowl. Though. Okay. Do you have a favorite? You're from South Carolina, neighboring North Carolina. The Panthers. Any crossover Charlotte's there? Charlotte's close to South Carolina. Yeah, yeah Charlotte's mean? close to South Carolina. No, the funny thing is, I'll go. I like I like Cam Newton. You yes. know. Uh, what did and, you think of Cam Newton's pants? Uh, not as good as Charlie's pants. That's right. Oh, right. That's not as good as Charlie's did pants. Did you know the New York Charlie Daily? fills them out no. nicely. Well, yes, oh, no. he does. Oh, Have no. you heard about the new wedge jeans? So oh, no, 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 no. The new, the new, the new wedge jeans no, that the Levi's is putting out? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, they're putting out a new wedge jean yeah. that if you don't have a butt, it gives you one. No, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen. Yeah. Charlie, you should know this. You made Baller Alert. Whoa, what's Baller that? Alert. Wow, I've never made that. It's a very popular black website for all the cool black people. And Charlie Rose has made Baller Alert. It says, when you're fine, you can wear anything. Charlie Rose, look, the best sorry cam that you tried. <laughs> wow. That's, that's nice. baller. Alert. That's oh, big. Yes. You got street oh, right. cred. Oh, wow. And so, See? how do you, you feel about Les Moonbez? By wearing those pants, Stephen, you have contact black. <laughs> Stephen, what will you be doing about Les Moonbez being uh, now the chairman? I heard this exciting news this morning. <laughs> this, I don't know where you, how did you get the exclusive <laughs> that your boss, we had it. my boss, our has, boss. Got, has got a raise and I got a new job? I, I think the real headline here is how young and handsome he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
And he, Looking good, and, boss. And, and, Here, here's to Les. Yes, yeah, Sunday. Great yeah. personality. You're not going to see this on any other yes. morning show. Yes, yes. No one else has this story. May you spend your power and money yes. well. He makes all yeah. of his own clothes and he's got a pleasing personality. What yeah. a lucky girl, Julie Chang. Yes. <laughs> Julie Chang is a lucky, mm. lucky girl. Mm. And their son, Charlie. Thank you, Stephen. Thank great you. Great to have Thank you here. Really so good. Great CBS to have you Sunday. Good luck. Good night. Good we'll luck. be watching. <laughs> CBS Sunday will bring you Super Bowl 50 as the Carolina Panthers take on the Denver Broncos. And then stay tuned for Stephen's live edition of The Late Show Yay. immediately after the big game. That is all Sunday, only on CBS. Only CBS. <laughs> <laughs> only here.